It is super, super cold today. Um, we have been well rugged up. Um, beast from the east number two or something is driving through. So you can imagine top of our hill um, on the edge of the world in our arena is fairly savage. Um, anyway, I wanted to just come into our tack room quickly just to have a quick chat of tack of bits. Um, again, totally um, a very personal preference. So um, I'm just going to show you our daily daily tack routine. Again, I like to keep things fairly simple. Um, I say that quite a lot every time I do a video, but um, I don't think I have very many brain cells, to be honest. So Simpleton is um, my middle, middle name, probably. And so um, this is um, Egbert Snaffles. I am personally um, very much an Egbert Snaffle fan. I think um, probably 90% of um, my horses would go have an Egbert Snaffle bridle, pretty much flash bridle um, with an egg strap. Um, this is our daily tack. Um, I like them because I feel that they never um, pinch or rub from the slight loose ring bit and the bit can stay you know very still even a bit stiller in the corner of the mouth um it's again a total personal preference um but they're a bit that I use a lot of and actually my claim to fame in life is <laughs> Mrs Funnel actually has um one in her bit box and she calls it a piggy snaffle because she kept asking why I always had those snaffles. So every time she rides one in, she refers to it as the piggy snaffle. So um, that's my claim to faith in fame in life. I'm very excited about that. Um, so yes, Egbert snaffle is my golden rule. Everything will just go in one of those to start with. If I've got a horse that's very light in the mouth, um, we have these rubber D bits. Um, it's my first go-to if I've got a horse that's just um, needing to take a bit more of a contact or vice versa if I've got one that is um, quite leans on the bridle a bit um, stronger down the rein then I would use a loose ring bit to try and keep a little bit more movement in the mouth a little bit to try and keep the contact a little bit fresher and a Waterford snaffle I really like as well if I've got one that's heavy in the mouth and would quite often work one in a Waterford snaffle the day before a competition to really lighten him off the bit to then maybe go back to an egg butt or a normal snaffle, a snaffle afterwards. But um, I break out in a cold sweat really when I go into Bitworld or somewhere and see all the different things you can get and don't even know really where to start. So um, these are my starting points and would consistently work one in them. Of course, there are different ones, um, without doubt. And every horse is, is very different. And by the time you start getting ready to three days or towards competitions, then you want to fine tune and, you know, find different ones that are better for them. Um, this is now apparently illegal. This one here with a an egg but snaffle with a link or lozenge or a link i think that one's called they're now illegal um not really sure why i think someone had a lot of time to needed to make up some rules but that for some reason is illegal um but this one is not a rounded lozenge is apparently fine anyway it's hard keeping up with the rules these days um but basically my idea of of riding would be going into the into the arena riding a horse from behind to the bit um the the bit the um the feeling the contact the mouth is nearly the last thing i try to think about not the feel but i'll just ride off the leg into a shape into ride it into the into the contact and if you can get the basics there of the rideability um it shouldn't really matter too much what is in the mouth sometimes. But again, like I say, with most of this, 
um, most of what I'm doing, it's a completely personal opinion. And an egg but snaffle, as you can see, I have a lot of. <laughs> so it's not too difficult for the guys to tack up a horse for me, to be honest. I will try and do a video one day that doesn't say, um, every five seconds or every 10 words. Apologies, just trying to listen back through, try to talk about bits and it is, um, um, but I'm not writing it down and <laughs> trying to, that's when I'd like to say an um, but I'm trying not to. <laughs> Um, um, there we go. There's gone. God's sake. Anyway, maybe I have to start writing things down, but sorry, there's too many ums. Um. I do have gadgets that we use, but not masses. I'm trying not to say um. Martingales. So my basic, just saddle and bridle, neck strap, basic tack. Then I would use go to if I've got a young horse that can be just a little bit leery or to throw its head about be a bit fresh or something first point of call a martingale really to stop him it uh, getting their heads you know right up or running through the bridle it's just a softer more natural aid. I have one set of draw reins that you know are brilliant used in the right way at the right time so you know definitely it can help for many different reasons but I like to be very careful with drawings and very careful with teaching with drawings because I think they can used in the wrong way I think can be um, a bad thing used too tight or without the feel or or getting a horse to be heavy in drawings I don't like um, I always like the feeling of they are self-carriage, so if they can be ridden well, then obviously they are very useful. We do have um, um, a double bridle, which is there. I'm not even going to turn it around because the amount of mould <laughs> on the side of it is, is a lot. I'm personally hopeless at riding, really, with two reins. My little pinkies are pathetic and um, I struggle in a dressage test to not drop one rein or keep it uneven. So um, I can manage it when I really have to, but I have to put my brave pants on and actually try and do something useful. But, um, and I probably need an old one, a new one. I think that's one that my mum had. <laughs> So, um, not so cool. But the normal, I've got a high cross crackle, a normal crackle. Just not, not much of things. But again, very personal. I'm a flash noseband fan or a caverson noseband. I really like taking a flash bridle off as well at times. Especially with a strong horse cross country. I've found it's made a massive difference sometimes. But again, um, I'm very open to looking, you know, if a horse goes well in something, then great. Um, you've got to do what is best for it and the feel that you like. But on the whole, we're pretty simple. 